Ah, uh, Mauer de Toten. This map really holds a special place in my heart. Mainly because this was the first new map I got to experience as a zombies player because I really got started playing zombies here in Cold War around when Firebase E came out, like a little bit after that. But by the time I started playing that, you know, basically everything had been discovered on Firebase E. Everybody already knew the map already, but coming on here to Mauer for the very first time at release was just so much fun. Like it's, it was an unforgettable experience, like getting to see a brand new zombies map for the first time and trying to discover all the secrets and everything in it. Like I'll never forget my first time hunting for a brand new Easter egg with the boys. I, I was completely sleep deprived because the update for whatever reason, I think it came out at midnight or, or the night before the map came out and then at noon the next day they would activate the easter egg so i was up the whole night playing you know messing around on the map trying to figure stuff out and then on absolutely no sleep i, I hopped on with the boys trying to figure out all the easter egg steps and even though i i wasn't all there mentally i'm still not it was just such a great time and on top of that mauer just turned out to be a really good map like i think this probably has the best atmosphere out of all the cold war maps and might be one of if not the best map in cold war and i feel like a lot of people would agree with me i, I see mauer up there on a lot of like zombie map tier lists even from people that don't particularly like cold war or like weren't as big of fans of cold war but i really feel like they did a good job on all the design the atmosphere the wonder weapon like there's so much good about this map the one thing i don't like very much or at least i feel like kind of dampers the map is the Easter egg story. Like if this is your first time seeing somebody attempt the Mauer de Toten Easter egg, you probably came to the wrong place because I'm gonna try to do it from memory. But where we last left off, we just finished the second outbreak Easter egg. We're at the end of it, you know, we fought Orda, uh, you know, got uh, hoodwinked by Omega and then ultimately kidnapped by Krevchenko and brought to here to do his bidding, which, you know, all, all makes sense. But the thing that really kind of threw me when this first came out was I had no idea who Valentino was. I still didn't even really know until like not that long ago. I, I had no idea that was the, the officer that came in at the end of the Firebase Z Easter egg with Kravchenko. You know, the, the people that like ambushed Peck in his office at the end and, you know, took his eye out. But like before that, like if I didn't have captions on or nothing during that cutscene, I would have had no idea who she was regardless. I guess that's not that big of a deal. You know, you hop on here, there's a threat, you kill it. That's zombies. I just kind of felt like out of the loop doing this Easter egg for the first time. Like it's all, it's all good and fun. There's a lot of fun steps to it. It's just like the story of it. I was, I was a little lost. But I say this almost every time I play this map. I just really love how it looks with power off. Like we just collected our first fuse by killing that Tempest and we're going to need to find another one. But before we get both those fuses put in and the lights on, it's just, it looks so nice with no lights on all completely dark. We can even toggle on and off our flashlight if we wanted to. I like keeping it off and it just makes it kind of feel scary a little bit. And it just feels like this map has like a lot of depth. There's a lot of like ups and downs, like literally. It's a very vertical map. It's like uh, kind of a light version of Die Rise. Like we just had the trains go by over here and we're down in the the subsystem down where the trains are going by the what the hell is this called the subway but we can go from here all the way up to the roof of a building like five floors up which is really sick but it also made the map extremely confusing when it first came out and i feel like it's a, a little bit of a barrier to entry for uh, some newer players but once you kind of learn like the lay of the land and your way around it's such a good map and now we're in the infamous power room i, I love trying to high round in here but i don't think i've ever made it too far something has always happened whether it's my mindlessness and my my dumbass self getting getting me killed or if it's the game completely glitching out and throwing me into a zombie spawn trapping me there, there there's always some happening on this map but now that we faked turning on power and the the breaker broke we just need to go and find our other fuse and it should be right in here what's going on tempest let's go ahead and take you out night night give me that I'll be on my way. I'm lollygagging a bit over here. I need to get power on and I need to get this Easter egg started before we get too high of a round. Because this is the Easter egg, I think I have the least amount of confidence going into it. Not only to like survive the entire thing and not go down, because we've been doing pretty good so far, basically doing all of them flawless. But me trying to do them from memory, there's not a whole lot going on in this cranium. The only thing I got going on in my head right now is a specific type of bird. 
a hawk. Now I'm not going to do it to you guys, but I need to go ahead and pack a punch this and get brain rod on here. I also need to grab this loose change. And what perk do I need? Probably stamina would be good for right now. But we need to start looking for the stuff to upgrade Klaus and get him built. So where is that radar dish? Where is it hiding at? Avoid the spotlight. The auto turret will target you almost immediately. I should not have to tell you this. Yeah, whatever, Kravchenko. Honestly, this little area right here, I thought it was going to be such a larger threat the first time I played the map. Like seeing all these little dig areas and these turrets going around uh, i thought like oh you you step in here you're gonna die it's literally called the death strip but it, it actually does little to nothing to you and what's up with this dish does it always just spawn in the last thing you search how have i missed it i felt like I, i've dug everything up oh there it is of course but do i need to go check on klaus first what's going on dude a strange robot chained to a chair who are you jaeger you bug-eyed looking freak who even are you okay i don't think we need to talk to klaus right now but we gotta get into this room here and we're gonna need a brain rod zombie for that so go ahead and uh open that up for me please don't worry about the zombies yeah just get that door open get to work all right your job's done now you can go kill the zombies now, let me grab this dude's hands off of the gooner's neck. Absolutely insane. They're trying to use Klaus as a sex toy. But, I mean, what are you going to do with robots if not try to frick them? We got his hands. We need the battery from a Panzer spawn, which should be coming right now, right? It shows up on round 10. And then I think those are the only two pieces we need to start. But also, let's go ahead and grab Mr. Peak's head. Come here, buddy. Panzer, where are you going? I'm right here. You lost? All right, Klaus, let's get you up and running. Finally. Have you any idea how bored I was just waiting for something to do? I mean, if you weren't turned on, were you bored? Like, are you just sitting there actually, like, thinking things, having thoughts? But I can't believe they added Klaus from BO6 into this game. But we gotta go get you upgraded, Klaus. The later round we get into, the harder it's gonna be to get it done. We also need him to go ahead and open up this locker. Smack that thing open. Thank you. I used the black light in my necrotics lab once. The room lit up like the sun. Yeah, whatever, Dr. Jaeger. Just had to tell the world that you'd be shooting loads, huh? But we can also start looking for all the codes. So our third number is going to be right here. What is that, a 10? Yep. Let's check down here. This one I always have the hardest time trying to find. Oh, here it is. 24. Oh, now he's leaving. Whatever, dude. I guess I'll get the wonder weapon while I'm waiting for you to come back. 22, 24, 10. 22, 24, 10. Please work. Oh, let's go. Easy. Now we get the best wonder weapon in this game. It actually might not be the strongest, but it's definitely the coolest for sure. But can we call Klaus back yet? Is he still on cooldown? He is. Come on, dude. Get with it. Well, I guess while we're waiting for Klaus to cool down, we can go check out all these little power boxes and see which one we need to use for him. Not looking like this one. We got to find one of these that have his little uh, Klaus face next to it. Oh, fantastic. I completely forgot about this. The one issue with this map, there doesn't need to be ropes everywhere. And if they're going to be everywhere, maybe they should work a little bit. You know, just an opinion. But let's see if I can remember where the rest of these little boxes are at. Oh, wait, I can shoot this, right? Yup. Give me that. Actually, let's go get the one on the roof, too, while we're at it. It's all coming back to me. I'm learning. We'll shoot this down as well. Give me that. And the last one is in here, right? One of these TVs. Or maybe one of the radios? Yes, the radio. There we go. So that's Klaus's headgear we need to make at some point. Pretty sure there's another power box right here. Is this what we need? I don't see a Klaus face. All right, well, I've uh, I've exhausted all the locations I know on this map. And let's grab this other piece of Mr. Peaks. Those are also the only two pieces I know. I, I want to go and do that little Mr. Peaks side Easter egg. I got to try to get the gears turning up here. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's one right here. There we go. Okay, we're getting it. I think there's another one in here somewhere, right? Yep. Give me that. And let's not get too lost in the sauce. We'll call Klaus back in and see if he's ready to be upgraded. I need you to get some kills, buddy. Get him. Sick him. Is he ready yet? Nope. Still angry face. We need that to be a happy face. You need to turn that frown upside down. Dang, he just cleared out the entire round and still isn't ready to be upgraded. Oh, I need to place the dish. I'm an idiot. Oh, he's ready. Get in there. What do you mean not sure that's a good idea? Yes, it is. Do what I tell you. I got the remote. I got the talking pillow. Now we just got to defend him for a whole minute, which should be a breeze with the Cerberus. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Oh, wait, is this a... Oh, give me that. Actually, I don't think this is the part we need, unfortunately. 
We need a different part to our aftermarket part. Or, jeez. Look at me. I'm so Modern Warfare Zombies pilled. Actually, but these are kind of like aftermarket parts for the Wonder Weapon. And they are pretty similar to the newest aftermarket parts we've gotten because they all suck. And the default version's better. Almost adequately. What, did you not get upgraded? No, he did. He's got a pack punch weapon now. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm forgetting something. We have all these. We can't do the warhead stuff yet. And we don't have the wonder weapon part we need to get into the secret base. Oh, well. Klaus is flying away anyways. Scram. Get out of here. Maybe we look for that other Mr. Peaks part. Oh, here's an arm. Is that everything? No, we still need more. Oh, and we can see the club from over here. I'm hating from outside. I can't even get in. Where's that last Mr. Peaks part? I just want to go. Where's the rest of you, huh? I feel like it's somewhere down here. He's messing around the sewer. There it is. That should bring us in. Let's go, baby. This has got to be like the coolest bunny Easter egg out of all the maps. Now we're in Club Peaks, dude. I want to know more lore on Mr. Peaks. Why does he just have a whole club? Was he a DJ and then just decided to be a, a zombie bunny from another dimension or like... You know, what happened? Did he used to work at Circuit City? Give me the lore. Oh, now it gives me the part I need for the Wonder Weapon. Now that I am not in the overworld. Awesome. Look at him go. Just vibing. Not a care in the world. Oh, here comes the drop. Bring it on, zombies. You can't touch this. Oh, wait. Maybe you can. Hold on. Now you can't. I think we might be at the end of his set. Oh, shit. And he's going hard for the last one. Bring it on, zombies. You can't get to me. I'm too nice with it. This is my stage. You gotta pry it out of my cold, undead hands. Oh, shit. They're trying. They're working on it. They ain't getting it, though. Oh, max ammo? That means we're done? Nope. Maybe just a random drop. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Thanks, Mr. Peaks. Now, what door has our reward? One, two, or three? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a hawk, to whatever, this one. <gasps> Did we get it? Nope. Lame. Whatever. All right, get me out of here. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is that a, is that a reference to the shining? That's the same marking as the carpet, right? All hawk and no tua makes me a doll boy. Now, what was I doing for the actual Easter egg? Oh yeah, that's right. Let's get Klaus back. Come on, buddy. Let's make our way up here. And I need you to open this up now. Punch that open. Hello? Klaus? Oh no, dude open there you go thanks for playing dude Klaus got dementia oh looks like i can upgrade him get in there mister oh and we finally got the part we needed too oh uh, let's begin the upgrade process give me that and we just won't use that for a bit oh look at that we got goth klaus what's up cutie do we need to upgrade him again or is that the, the second upgrade optional oh well, i guess we'll see come on over here let's just do it anyways oh and he's getting out of here all right Let's make our way down to the lab. Dexter be like, Walt be like, Jesse be like, Gail Bedecker be like. I can keep going. No, I can't. I'm out of scientists. Oppenheimer be like, I only thought I was done. Oh, and I could have had Klaus punch the wall. Forgot about that step. What about you? Can you do it? What's this dude's name? Benjamin? Why don't you get off your ass, Ben, and you start helping us here? Oh, shit. And I forgot about the boss mimic that spawns down here. It's like an HVT that just spawns in the middle of the map. This honestly should be more of a thing. I, I like it when they do stuff like this. But damn, did it scare the hell out of me the first time I saw it. You did not need to be here. And I need you to sit on, please. Oh, shit. There you go. And now he's ready to go. Come on. Get it open. There we go. Stay back. Let me in. There we go. And now we got to defend these things from our tormentors. I think we got a decent chunk of this Easter egg done already. But now we need to grab one of these bad boys, which we can't do since we have Klaus. Oh, wait, can we stop the train? Can we already do that? Are we able? Let's find out. Let's throw them on the tracks. Oh, shit. What track is it? This one, maybe? Uh, Let's reverse the tracks. Can I do that yet? Oh, shit in my ass. Klaus, you want to help me out here? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Oh, we're, we're not doing it flawless now, which sucks. I probably could have used my uh, field upgrade a little bit sooner and we would have been fine. But I am not putting myself in a good position to succeed. But I don't think I can change the track just yet. Okay, we're not at that step. But I think we can start doing this now, right? Shoot that. Give me that. 
And give me one of these. And we got one right here. Toss that bad boy down, right? Place the canister. And let's suck them up. Very convenient how close this one was. Is that it? We got it filled. I remember there used to be like a high round strat with these. But they nerfed them. Ooh. And it does spawn an insane amount of elites. I forgot about that. Manglers, I need you guys to get the hell out of my way. Oh, shit. And Klaus ain't here to pick us up. There goes our self-revive. But Joe, you could have used your quick revive. Listen, I don't think about things until it's too late. Y'all should know this by now. Oh, and since I went down, I lost the other one? Is that what just happened? Did I pick it up from where I went down at? Well, it didn't take long for me to get lost. Did I fuck up? Did I go down in the one spot I can't? Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep on keeping on like that didn't happen. And I guess let's fill this bad boy up. Gimme. And let's see if we can make it all the way back to the lab and not mess this up. And place it, right? Oh, it's Peck, you cocksucker. That machine can create an inversion bomb that when detonated opens a breach. I'll bet my ass that's how Valentina got into the dark ether. Well, you don't want to be betting ass, Peck, because I'll take it. <gasps> it did fall out of the map. Oh, but you can still pick it up, though. How did I not see that big notification there? All right, well, at least we uh, weren't completely lost. We just need to do that one more time, I guess. The truth is a dark ether entity known as the Forsaken. <gasps> the Foreskin? And we should be good to put this back. Perfect. Even if you found it. It would still be too late. You are out of time. Yeah, we'll see about that, Valentina. I think now's probably a good time to switch over to Ring of Fire. It's crazy that I haven't even used Ring of Fire since we've come back to Cold War. But we've been doing a whole lot of moving around, not a whole lot of sitting in any one particular spot. But Ring of Fire is going to be really nice for taking on Valentina. Come on, buddy. We're Oscar Mike. Miss me? Can't say I missed you. Okay, whatever, dude. You don't need to be a dick. Let's switch the track. Go do the thing. He's got to be doing it, right? Yeah. Look at him. All stance up, ready to go. Ah, good shit, Klaus. Let's, uh, where's the thing that we need? What do we need to grab? Where is it? There it is. A bomb. Love how that's just on a train conveniently. Well, thank you, Klaus. Appreciate it. That's some good work there, dude. For that, let's uh, upgrade you to your uh, rock form. It's not necessary, but I want him to have a mohawk. It needs to be done. Get in there. No, 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 no. You don't need to go back. Come on, dude. Ugh. Whatever. I am surprised you are unaware of the Forsaken. How do you think we knew? We learned from our contact in Requiem. Your organization has known about this entity longer than we have. And they left you completely in the dark. Are you sure you can trust your leaders? I never really picked up on what Kravchenko was saying right there. He's obviously talking about the director. But like I said, I was I was so lost when it came to the story here. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. I think that was supposed to be our first little hint about uh, Eddie. On this episode of Pimp My Klaus... We give this bad boy an upgrade. Going from a goth baddie to a, a punk daddy. Again, completely unnecessary, but I wanted to do it. And we are getting close to round 30. I am taking a while to get to this boss fight. I need to get these other steps done. I'm dicking around too much. Now, can we do this part yet? No. Key card required. Did I not grab it off the train? Oh, my genius is showing. Can, I, can the train reappear? Do we have to do that step again? They don't say anything about a key card in here. Man, this is some bullshit. All right, let's go. Come on. Do I have to switch the track again or is it good? Ah, oh, shit. I guess let's just put him over there and see what happens. Is he just going to start it up or do I need to switch it? Oh, nope, he just started doing it again. Okay. I'm glad we could repeat this step. Or he's just standing there. Oh, wait. Maybe we do need to switch the track. There we go. Sorry about that, Klaus. Left you waiting. Now, where's the key card? Where is it? Where is it? Where? Hello? Key card? Key card? No! No! We're good. I mean, we're not because I didn't get the item I needed. But we're alive. Can we do it three times? Is the real question. Okay, let's see if we can find it the eighth time around. I'm spamming my interact key. Where is this ID at? Got it. Can't believe we grabbed that the first time. I'm just too good. What is Valentina yapping about? Do you think a simple nuke could stop me? Uh, yeah, I do. No spoilers, Valentina, but I've seen how this ends. It ain't gonna go well for you. Let's browse the files. We got a lot of crazy shit on this computer down here, Klaus. And activate. Come on down. Uh, can I sneak around this real quick? I can. Let's get pack three. And take this bad boy out. Ooh, that was quick. 
Oh, he's got just little mimic friends, though. You guys need to go. There. Take a seat. All of you. And we only got a few minutes to do this. Okay. So we can grab one, and we need to set it up over on these bad boys. Uh, let's do this side first. And open this. Set that on the zip line. What? Oh, I need to craft it first. Shit. Okay, you know, you live and you learn. Let's see if we can get this done without zombies killing me. Build, build, build. There we go. Give me that. And now we can throw this on the rope. There we go. I'll be taking that uranium. We can craft it right here. Perfect. Gimme. And this should do it, right? Go. Yes, sir. Now let's go pick whatever the hell that just made up. Where's it at? There we go. Gimme. Let's also grab pack two on this wall right here, because I don't know if this is the last step. And put it in. Oh, we still need more. Okay. We got time. Can we call in more? No. I'm confusion. Oh, there's other computers everywhere else. Do I need to wait till the next round? Probably. Yep. Now it's green. Activate. Spawn it in now, please. Isn't this one going to be on the roof? Yep. But if I just stay over here, it should uh, come to me. Here they come. The big balls in the sky. Oh, shit. No way you can grab me right off of that. That's bullshit. Oh, these things are strong as hell, though. I need me a ring of fire. There we go. We got them splitting. These other two are starting to get low. And they should be dead right here. Nice. And let's take these bad boys out. They're so soft. Way too easy to kill. Give me. Zombies, stay away. I almost got distracted by Valentina's yap story. By distracted, it almost put me to sleep. I don't give a shit about your absent father. You're literally a demon. You think if he was around, that would change? Probably not. Because he was also a Nazi, right? Something tells me this, uh... Valentina's dad guy is kind of a bad egg. Now let's grab our other piece of uranium. Why can't I pick it up? There it is. I was about to start screaming. Oh, uh, that's not the crafting bench. Genius. It's right here. Gimme. We still got plenty of time. No need to stress out. We're good. Let's just uh, not be dumb. Let's drop our radioactive material so we can heal. Because I know you can do that now. After the 80 times of me doing this Easter egg. And the amount of times you guys have yelled at me about it. We're in the home stretch. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else we need. I should probably grab Tombstone just as like, uh, you know, just a, a last ditch effort in case I need it. But I think this is it right here. I just sent that disciple down to the ground, dude. I Goomba stomped the shit out of him. Think about that next time you want to spawn near me, bucko. We have a death machine. We got stuns. I think we're good. Let's do this. We need to convert raw ethereum crystals to flawless. Raw ethereum crystals to flawless? How the hell do I do that? I already told you. You are too late. We are here. Where the hell are you at? Oh, there she is. Okay. I was going to say, I don't remember the whole Ethereum crystal part. But what's going on, girl? You got some crazy herpes or whatever the hell is going on. That shit is not healthy. She is kind of stanced up, though. You can't be mad. The dawn of the new Reich begins now. In your dreams, buddy. Let's get that shield of yours broken and get to lighten you up. No need to use our ring of fire yet, but now we can use it to block her Diddy attack. So sick, that ring of fire blocks projectiles. Peck, whatever the hell you're saying, I do not care. I'm kind of in the middle of something, buddy. Why don't you like leave me a note or something? Yeah, go ahead and try to get out of here. I'll track you down. I got a, a nose like a bloodhound and she smells like a watermelon elf bar. There ain't no hiding that scent. Oh shit, I forgot about the nuke. Um, um, I just need to take cover, right? And then we're good. We're clean. Perfect. Light our ass up. There we go. So far, so good. Just got to really make sure the zombies don't take advantage of me. I can try to take them out while uh, she's doing her little piss move. Get that shield broken again. Get our, our damage up while we can. Actually, is our shotgun doing more? Maybe. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she was spawning a shield. That's what she was doing. Don't she start picking up zombies and healing? I feel like I remember that. We need to not allow her to do that. Oh, yep, here it is. Speak of the devil. Oh, but this is not strong enough. Where's ammo? Okay, I'm actually throwing. Give me that. Let's get back to work. 
Got our shield broke. We have our ring of fire, but I need to wait to use it until we really need it. Like right now. There we go. Let's get her moving. Come on. Get the flying away, you coward. Go for it. Leave. Oh, not another piss beam. There we go. She's leaving. That's what I thought. Scram. Oh, not good. You need to keep moving on this one. Gotta outrun her kidney stones. I can say that. I've had one. I got my kidney stone card. Oh, we're almost out of ammo, but she's moving. Can you guys do anything, zombies? Like, can you guys draw me ammo or something? Oh, wait, she's not moving. What the hell are you doing? There we go. Oh, no. She's actually being a dick. Stop. Healing. Knock it off. There we go. But we do have some ammo now. Finally. We gotta get her to move. There we go. Little ring of fire action. Yeah, you like that? You like that? I got a max ammo and immediately made me switch my weapon. What the fuck? Oh, is this the nuke? We don't need it to be. What are you doing? Oh, it was. But it didn't do anything to me. What? I'm... Alright. If I wasn't lost before, I am now. now. Let's keep this up. Oh, another nuke. Gonna be a nice try, Valentina, but it ain't touching me. Sorry. Uh, what if I do neither? How's that sound? Does that sparkle with you? Sunshine. What's that from? Who can tell me? That's a pretty easy one. That's a layup. Little ring of fire again. We got her to about a quarter of her health now. We just gotta keep up the pressure. We got her dazed and confused. Oh, of course. Now she's immune and shooting her crystals at me. That's fucked up. You will not take our beautiful from us. I will not let you. Yeah, yeah. You can keep yapping, Valentina, but you're not really doing a whole lot of, uh, you know, production. You're not producing on the field here. You wouldn't even make my practice squad. And now for our final stand. Oh. Let's get some shots in before the nuke actually goes off. <laughs> that was a scream for sure. Very intimidating, Valentina. But I hate to break it to you. And I am going to test fate here. But I haven't even gone down in this fight. Are you even trying, Valentina? I've gone down to just regular zombies more than you. You're going to let all the zombies be better? Are they better than you? They just might be. You might just suck ass, Valentina. And, you know what? Another little tidbit. You're a Nepo baby. You didn't earn this spot as a Dark Aether entity. Your daddy was already king of the Dark Aether. He was CEO. He didn't work for shit. Oh, shit. She's healing. Stop. None of that. None of that at all. Let's end this right here. You're done. Cooked, even. I need you to take a seat. And that should do it right there. Let's go. Flawless against Valentina. The other downs don't count, but you're getting teabagged. Yeah. There's a little kiss for you. That's the last kiss you'll ever get. The kiss of death. <laughs> I like how oh, she's so exhausted. We could drag her over to this device and just lock her up. She's literally like made of crystals. She couldn't at least like throw a punch or something. Look at Klaus back there, dripped out. Pandum again? Or don't, whatever, I don't care. And now we can get our weapon pack, punch three. There he is, there's our guy. Look at his tats, too. Oh, he's got the bunny on one arm? Guy's a monster. Fine. Now this is a little less sad now. Actually, I don't even know. I don't know if they're just throwing like Klaus in a BO6 for like fan service or if he's actually going to have like any sort of plot point in there. Because right here is where like supposedly he dies or he's like going into the Dark Aether or what. I, I don't really know what's going on here. Because it's, cause it's almost like we're nuking the Dark Aether. But we're not. Because obviously it still exists. But maybe him and... Maxis team up later on in the Dark Aether. You know, they, they befriend each other. <laughs> I love the oh fuck from Klaus where he just ignites a bomb. But it didn't do anything to him, apparently. Agents Unless there's like, with. we're gonna go into a multiverse type thing. And it's like Klaus C-137 or whatever. 
evict him. Oh, and this part is always so ridiculous to me. First of all, we almost forget Raptor 1 was taken hostage. And he's just casually out here. And Kravchenko got the worst aim ever. I won't allow you to leave Berlin. Dude, did you not just see me take out a demon? You think you're gonna get me with a helicopter? I can shoot that thing down with a Cerberus in an instant. And I'm not even in cover! There is no urgency here. This is like the most casual escape. Kravchenko ain't gonna do shit. Come well, on, Raptor 1. Let's go. <laughs> I still love us just casually walking up here. Kravchenko not shooting anymore. Oh. Did he or was that us? No, nope, there he goes. He had to recharge. It was on cooldown. But we're out. Can't catch us. We got the power of portals that Maxis only uses at the end of these missions. But either way, thanks, Maxis. Appreciate you. What's up, Weaver? And the dog. <gasps> Wait a minute. Who's watching us on the camera? Could it be? No. Valentina is no longer an issue. Agent Klaus completed his mission. He's an agent, not just a robot. <gasps> Best director ever? Maxis presents a problem that must be dealt with. Project Janus now, may now proceed unimpeded. Her powers are growing. And so are mine. Because that is now five out of the six Easter eggs here in Cold War that we have done without looking anything up. I've gotten a little bit smarter. And me being smart might be a danger. But our final stats here, almost 200,000 sore. Almost 2,000 kills, 246 crits, zero revives, and two downs. But none during the boss fight. That's all that matters. Well, that's all she wrote for Mauer Day Toten. We are almost all the way done with going back through all these Easter eggs in Cold War in preparation for BO6. And all we got left now is Forsaken. 